I was thinking that I would mean for like a second set of words. Okay, welcome everybody to another chaos um community meeting. I almost said chaos Africa. Well, chaos community meeting. Um let me share my screen. Um you can add your uh, name to the agenda. I just added it uh, in the chat. Okay, can you all see my screen? Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Oh my. So um it's a pretty very short agenda already. <laughs> um and I forgot to add the links. <laughs> I skipped adding the links. So if you can um get the links and add here, that would be great. But um I wanted to drop in that we launched the the first thing on the agenda is we launched the DI project badging. Um yesterday there was a blog post that went out uh on the chaos community blog I'll just go there um, so you can check it out um and also we had a blog post from gitlab gitlab um announced on their end as well um about them contributing as a partner um and if you check the badging.chaos.community site, you'd see that um, GitLab and Kali Linux have been badged as well. Um, so, yay to that. Oh, my. I know, my internet is so slow. Sorry. I'm trying to get up the blog post link. Um, I think my network is so 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 slow. Sorry. Okay. So yeah. Um. So yeah. So we have so far batched um uh, GitLab and the uh, Kali Linux um true badging so. Um, I don't know if there are any questions about this or any comments. I'm going to add these links here. And then just to say, I think I overreacted when I said it. Yeah, I can say. Yeah, just if it's a question. Um, okay. Yeah, so I, I'm just curious. I, I know the, the project is live, but I just wanted to ask if now everything has been redesigned, um do do is there still like a need for badging reviewers, you know, in this new process uh of event badging, if you get my question. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I get your question, and that's that's a very good question. So um yes, there's still a need because um I'm just going to share. I was trying to get the links to the other. If anybody can drop the links to the blog post, let me share back my screen. I'm just trying to get that quickly. But if you see here, um, if you go to like events badging, we've still not built out like the process for on the on the site for events badging. If you click on apply for a badge here. It's just going to go back here, um, to the to the chaos of community site, and then um, you have to still apply here for um, you know, to badge your events. So we the the goal is that we are going to have that process here in this website, but that's something we have not built up yet. So, um. If you even go to the badged event, you'd see it still links back to this um, repo and showing all like these badged events, right? So there's still the need for reviewers. It's until we have thought about like the process here, how it will happen, like if everything will just be automated on this site. And that's like a long, really, it's a long conversation, right? It's like a long way, but we'll keep building out the process until, but for now, um event badging process still is still needs we still need to do um human reviews for event badging uh project badging is the only one that's currently automated 
like people can just you know it we have the implementation that scans the badge from their repository so yes i don't know if to what extent if that answers your question yeah sure i did have a full-up question i think you're so answered yeah. when i wanted when to ask if there's like already outlined process on how it should be later on in the future or you said you know it's still something the team is thinking about so yeah that's Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's still something that we're thinking about. And then it's open for contributions now already. So it's not like there's no like actual team <laughs> again. Um, but like it's open for community contributions, and that's even what like the Chaos Africa development group is looking out to do, right? And and also contributes contribute to so yeah. So I hope that kind of answers the question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, any more feedback, thoughts, uh, questions on project budget? Hi, I'm strong. Hello, Ruth. Yeah, are you going for chaos con? Or you're not? Yes. Oh, no, I have a lot of... Um activities during my move oh, okay no problem then yeah i'm chairing the science uh, uh this youth international youth science festival here oh that's interesting yeah okay um you guys see your hand up do you want to ask a question oh yes um so i wanted uh, to ask um the accessibility for the DEI, you know, project websites. I just wanted to ask. So right now that it's live, yes, that can go on. Can yes. that go on? Yes, it can. Then um, it's live now, so it can go on. Um. Okay. Any more questions or? Feedback here. I'm going to add these links. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, the next agenda item is about chaos gone. Um, as you can see from this call, <laughs> a lot of people that used to be here are not here. Um, they are on their way to chaos con, flying for chaos con, and it's going to be also like live streamed so if you're not attending you can also attend on youtube on our chaos youtube um uh, so just watch out for it um any questions there about chaos con i don't know if here is a good place for yeah the chaos con africa <laughs> when are we looking to <laughs> maybe start activities around that yeah um it's also going to be uh, um collocated at um at oscar fest so oscar fest tentatively is happening in june or july so i think by by end of february i should know the actual date oscar fest is happening right and then we can now start planning towards that but about there might be like an I'm thinking about a very subtle not maybe not, not subtle but like a a smaller version of there's a smaller version of what chaos con is in Namibia at Bicon Namibia and um, that's something I'm thinking about but yeah it's not yet um so but if you're talking about the one in Nigeria yes. It's going to be happening around Oscar Fest and that to be June, July, and we can start planning in February when we just have like a date already. Okay, right, awesome. Yep, yep. Okay, okay. Any questions around Chaos Con? Um, okay, I'm just taking notes. Okay. Um. Oh my, Elizabeth is going to. 
it's been so long i fast the deck of intermittence um okay so i think that the last the last thing on the agenda is we have a new um guest cast episode on university open source engagement so if you're curious to know about like um how universities engage in open source you can listen to that episode um and you know get more knowledgeable around that area um i don't know you got do you have any accessibility team updates i don't know i think you usually do the updates here maybe you can just but that's the last agenda item okay uh, thank you. Um, we have, uh, let me just go and share. We have the repo already. Um, okay. We have like a contributing.md. Let me just, let me just quickly <laughs> put me on the spot, but it's okay. Um, one second. Okay, I think I'm breaking up. Maybe zoom my network because it's like, Jeez. Oh, can anybody hear me? Yeah, I can. I can hear you fine, Yiga. I can hear. I can. Oh. I can hear you. Oh, okay, okay. So let me just. I'll drop this in the chat. I'll drop all of the updates in the chat. We currently have and the links rather. We have a readme.md for anybody that wants to contribute. You know, to the accessibility team. We have a contributing.md. Let me share it so maybe Roots can, you know, share it on our screen. Okay. Are you sending into the chat? Yes, I am. This right now. Just one second. Okay. Okay. I'm just sending what um was what I sent to like the team on our chat. So yes, but it has all of the updates. So within the week, um, I did a couple of things. Um, I created like issue forms. So I don't know if we can look at the issue forms. I think that would also help. Yes, for... let, me add... let me just add that to the agenda. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. just added it. So you created the document. So this is the readme. Go here. Okay. Um, this holds the permission for all. Okay. I'm just reading out loud. Sorry. Mm. I think you had sent this to me. Sorry, I missed it. So I was going to respond to that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it on the spot now. <laughs> right. So um another thing that has been done as well is so for all of the team members that you know signified interest, May Blessing, Anita, um who else? We have somebody else, I'm forgetting his name right now. So they've been added to like um the contributors of this like project board. Sorry, repo rather. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. So everybody, yes, everybody has been added to that. Um, we're currently in our group, in a you know discussion group. We we're currently trying to come up like with a time where we can meet. And the, I think the most important thing that you know is going to happen in that meeting is showing people how they can actually contribute because um there are currently no issues right now, and um people because it's accessibility. Uh, we're being very mindful of, you know, starting with us, right? To try to, that's why, I, I don't know if you can open like the um, forms, like the templates. Um, This, no, 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 like from the, the meeting okay. notes. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me, Any of okay, the issue form. Yes, yes, please. Which of them? them? Anyone will work. For what I want to say. 
No, the second, not the contributor. The contributor guide. Okay, yeah, the last one, the template again. Yeah. I think I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. The that's YML. Okay. I think it's showing you for for error. For... Yeah, it you missed like the last part. The last part let was me, only let me open you from Ex let me okay, open you yeah. from the chat. Yeah. I'll open you from the chat instead. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So um like this is like a way to file an issue with with um the accessibility team because there's a lot of like guidelines. Yeah, so there's like a drop down mm -hmm. um where is it going to fall under and stuff like that. Just so that when the accessibility um audit team wants to work on it, they would know exactly what they are looking for because it's such a huge project. So because um for example, for chaos web for chaos, right? It's not just the web. We're going to be looking, doing audits on, you know, when you view Chaos's website, like on Android, when you look at it on your iOS device, and also for the DEI budget. So it's like the same thing. So instead of us, you know, just making it random or maybe using like a template where when people are trying to like create the issues, <clears throat> they it, it might get deleted. So this just works um, better and it just follows like the the way like when the accessibility auditor wants to um, put in their results, it just kind of like follows. So that's like the most important thing. And then the way for people to create issues under this. So those are like some of the things that we'll discuss like in the meeting so that every single person can be able to create each issues PMs and everybody. And then of course, when the, the, the other step of it will be that when the accessibility uh, people, auditors or testers, you know, everybody is done with the accessibility part of it, it will then go to maybe the PMs, I'm oh, sorry, the developers, the content creators, the designers, you know, to correct it, right? So that's yeah. where you have best person to correct this, right? So, and then it just moves to the next stage. So the PMs, you know, assign it to the next person and stuff like that. So it's it's a really, really huge. Um, okay. So one question, um, one is like, is there a reason why it's called DI badging dots YML? Is it because it's for DI badging specifically or? Uh, we can, it's for the new, like it's for DEI generally, um, the website that we just brought out. So I don't know if there's another name. It's, it's not just for, the website is not just for DEI. Yeah, this, this naming, right. Is it mm -hmm. just, is this, this is the accessibility um, repo, right? So the naming of the YAML file, I'm asking, is it because it's specifically, this issue template is specifically for, DI badging project or it spans across like everything because like no no this is just an example oh no this is this is just for DI um the DI badging website right then there's another one for chaos so for example if you want to do like the A force or something we have to create like another one for that just so that it's not mixed up oh, because okay. already yeah okay. already yes this is the one for chaos. So yes, so for Chaos Web, Chaos Android, there's a place also to select that. Um, mm. Yes, so just so that it's not confusing, right? Um, so I don't okay. know if anybody has oh, suggestion. Yeah. I think I'm yes. trying to test it out now. So this is where you are picking which website you are opening the issue on that. So mm -hmm. get started. Mm -hmm. It now says yeah. here Web. And then I can select what's umbrella it's under. Mm -hmm. and so um I, I think another thing, maybe a feedback here on the README, because it for example, I'm not knowledgeable about accessibility, right? So I don't even know what it is on this. So maybe if we can link to some like have some context for people that might be interested in 
accessibility or knowing more about what it is like I, I can imagine people stumbling on this and not even knowing where to start from like even if I mm -hmm. want to so maybe if the read me can have some context I know there was one sheet um that you were working with um you were working at one time or maybe uh, what things mean like you know, just context in the maybe in the read me um I think that'll be might be a best place to put it so mm -hmm. that's something that we can have because I see that being a problem because me I don't understand it like I don't understand those terms okay okay so i would um i would link a few um things resources i think i'll just call them resources so i'll link a few resources down in the readme.md so that people that want to contribute can you know just go through it and go to those resources and learn more and okay. yeah yes okay nice um is it open now for people to start um you know country i'm uh, opening the ticket the issues yes um i'm thinking i'm thinking that i don't know if we can have like a private um, channel because right now we're already like it's in the group and we can only have like nine people in a single chat so maybe like a private not like the general you know channel that you know everybody has so that people that want to if more people want to join us yes um and then another request to be like a way to just to reduce the um because we're supposed to have a meeting we've not yet decided but most of the team members are you know it's most likely on friday so a way to record that meeting so that since it's a way to show them how to create like the issues with the spreadsheet and stuff like that we, we don't have to do that again right so that anybody that wants to do that can just you know go to that particular video i don't know if that's possible should we mm. use like go meet or a normal okay. recorder i think um we can set up chaos um a chaos um meet meeting like with chaos zoom for that so i can reach mm. out to you uh, that's something we can do um have access to it and then so you're able to record the meeting um one mm. of that thing I, on the channel part i don't know if it's um something you can like discussing because this this falls under the di team the di um working group right so i don't know if mm -hmm. it's, and the conversations can happen in the di channel because i'm definitely sure people would want to like people are interested in this and we also mm -hmm. want to be in the loop right um so if you can start having those conversations and move since things are things have been set up okay right to the extent of having the repo i know before it was like the sheet um but now that things have been set up in the repo you can have start having those conversations in the di um working group um channel and then people can loop, be looped in the conversation as well um so because like usually i think during those meetings um mostly these days it has been the di project budget conversations has been overtaking those meetings right mm -hmm. so if having those conversations in those meetings it would be great mm -hmm. yeah oh that so, works that works that's perfect as well so we'll get more people as well that will most likely be knowledgeable about accessibility and whatnot so yeah that works perfect okay great good work um Peculiar, I see your hand is up. Yeah, thank you for like for that. Um, I want to just ask a question: like, is it possible for this accessibility and how to work on it to be recorded, like other onboarding courses that we're trying to that trying to put together? Um, I just thinking see if it's possible for us to have something like that which can help guide people easily to know more about it and then be able to contribute to the repo with ease um i think that okay i don't know how like the, the for the courses i see something like for this project is something that would end at some point right is it something that is currently is going to keep it will fall on that like when we are talking about the DR working group. I'm guessing it should fall on that there. So I don't know if Yiga 
you're also involved in the course, the course. Um, yeah. The... Um, okay. Can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh, okay. Um, so thank you, Fakili, and thank you, Ruth. Um, so I initially wanted to, you know, take that up. But um, because accessibility is like a very touchy thing, right? Um, so uh, it involves like any small thing that like, can just literally involve like plenty legal, plenty, plenty, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just like, I would rather um, pull links to different courses that are out there, right? Mm -hmm. So that people can, mm -hmm. you know, go take them, go, you know, learn about them. And there are courses on EDX literally, there's courses on Coursera. So um, I think that would be the best fit because I'm not sure that I am under the, I don't, I don't have a certification to teach on accessibility. I think that's the word. I think maybe I'm getting peculiar wrong, but I think our question is more like this particular project, like how to do this. Yeah, so to for you to be able to do this, you need to like have taken like courses or like understand how to do your um accessibility testing, right? So that's like that is the same thing literally. We're saying the same thing. Okay. That's really, really, really what they teach you, like in those courses, how to go about it, how to do that. And because it's a very um touchy thing, I'm just like, <gasps> I don't want to get into trouble. Fine. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll, put I all, I'll put all the links. I'll put all the links I can find and I'll share all of them. Is, and website. Is, is there someone already assigned to the DI? Um working group in the course content for the on the onboarding courses or are you the one yeah. assigned to that no no i'm not i know that um victoria as well is working on the i but what she's talking about she's going to be talking about accessibility as well but she's i don't think that she would be she would just generally be talking about why accessibility is good i think that's probably like what she'll be saying but you can check in with her mm -hmm. as well Yes. yes, and I think the the meeting that you are going to record can also help people know what how to contribute to this as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, you can. Yes, thank you. Um. Okay. Any more questions or feedback? Well done to all of you. It's nice to see this. Okay. Mm hmm. I think that's the last agenda item. Um, any more things you want to talk about? Okay. Seems like I think this is one of the shortest meetings. Oh, it's still 6 30 already. Okay, so if there are no more things to talk about, and um, thank you everybody for joining and uh, have a good evening. Thank you, Ruth. That was wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Armstrong. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.